TV KPM. Hi, Shafika. Do you want to start first or should I? Hmm, you first. Nah, ladies first. Okay. All right. Then let's go. I will start the first move here. Your nice. turn. Nice. Hmm, I would think. I think I'll plant it here. Hmm, plant it there. Wow. Yeah. I think I should go. Hmm, here. Okay. Hmm, that's so obvious. Huh? <gasps> here you go. Oh no. Ugh. Okay, where should I put mine? Huh? Hmm. I'm going to win. I think I should go. I'm here. going to win. Oh no. Looks like I have to change my strategy. Yes. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Here. <gasps> yes, I got it, Mr. Q. I win. What? Oh no, you got three in the line? Yes, I did. Okay. Yay, me! A special limited <gasps> edition flower just for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Q. <laughs> Welcome back to Didi TV KPM. Today we are learning for slot tahap dua with our teacher just now, as you can see. But before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Shafika Farahin Razali, and you'll be with me for the whole one hour today to learn science DLP Year Six. All right. For today's topic, we'll let our own teacher introduce himself. First, hello, Mr. Q. Hi, Shafika. How are you? I'm good today. How are you? I'm great. And also with us here in the studio is our sign language interpreter, uh, teacher Zaharatul Azma, Muhammad Kamal from SK Taman Bunga Raya Satu, Selangor. Thank you, teacher, for being with us here today. Hello. Assalamualaikum. As always, we'll always have our pupils together with us to learn together. Let's have them from the same school as Mr. Q from SK Kampung Lindungan. Let's have have them here in the studio. Hello, everyone. Hi. All right, Mr. Q, can you please introduce them one by one? Yes. Mm -hmm. First, we have Akif Anaki. Akif Anaki, wave your hand. Hi. Hi, Akif. Okay, and then we have Zarek Zakwan. Hi, Hi Zarek. Hi, Zarek. <laughs> and the only lady here, the, uh, Alisa Kaisara. Wow, our only flower today, Alisa. <laughs> Hi. And finally, Adam Ferdows. Hello, Adam. All right, friends. Thanks for being with us here today to learn together. All right, Mr. Q. For today's topic, what is it? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Do you still remember about the gimmick just now? Oh, I do. But what does it have to do anything with what we're going to learn today? Oh. So hmm. today, we are going to learn about competition among plants. Okay. Besides that, we are also going to explain Students will be able to explain with, uh, with example uh, the interaction between plants such as symbiosis. Uh, and wow. symbiosis consists of um, parasitism and also commensalism. All right, Mr. Q. Now, what is the learning outcomes and objectives for today? All right, so mm -hmm. for today, at the end of this session, pupils will be able to describe the factors that affect the competition between plants. And they will also be able to explain through examples the type of interaction uh, among plants such as symbiosis. Mm. Symbiosis consists of commensalism and also parasitism. Wow, okay. Mr. Q, please proceed. All right. So for the factors that affect competition between plants, there are altogether four of them. Mm -hmm. The first one is space. The second one is water. The third one is sunlight. And finally, nutrient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go straight to the point all right for all right. space okay look at this picture okay this picture shows what do you see what do you see what do you see mm, the first thing i saw uh, is a fruit mm. you see a fruit what fruit is that it's a durian mr q <laughs> okay and then beside the durian there's uh, a lot of trees planted there right right did you realize that they are uh, planted uh, far from each other yes oh. like there's a uh, fixed amount of space in between them. Yes, mm. that's right. Because 
it is important to reduce competition among the plants. Oh. Okay, uh, a few years back uh, when I, w I went to Mardi, Mardi is the Malaysian Agriculture Research and Development Institute mm -hmm. for a tour. And we came across these um, Musang King seedlings. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, my dad was really excited because this is one of the premium fruit, premium fruit of Malaysia, right? right? So he was thinking, um, maybe in t 10 years time, we, be, we will be able to eat our own Musang King. Mm -hmm. So he approached the seller and he said, I want three of them, three of the oh, seedlings. Wow. So uh, the seller asked my dad, how much space do you have mm -hmm. at home? Then, then I was curious. So I asked him, why do we need a lot of space? Oh, each Musang King tree requires at least nine meters of space. <gasps> yes, so which means if this plant is here, the next plant must be nine meters away from nine it. Nine meters, that's yes. a big space. That's how you get the best fruit mm. in the world. <laughs> Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of competition. Yes, that's right. Okay, all right, Mr. Kim, okay. next. Moving on, mm -hmm. this is water. The water, as we all know, water is the basic need of all living things. It is important for the plants, animals, and also humans. Mm -hmm. So, competition will definitely occur between plants when... Uh, when water is finite, especially when it is during the drought season, a drought season where there's no more water, right. then plants will definitely compete for water. They look for water underground. So big trees like the one on the right, you can see uh, from the picture, it has a very complex root system. Mm -hmm. This complex root system enables these big trees to look for water underground. Right. Uh, some trees uh, as old as a thousand years old, huh? Uh, their trees are real, their tree barks will be really, really huge and mm -hmm. far away from each other. So there will be no trees, smaller trees near it because they will definitely lose out in this competition for water. Right, okay. <laughs> mm. Okay, next is sunlight. So Shafika, if you look yes. at this picture, mm -hmm. what do you see? I see trees, but I also see different heights of trees. Yes, mm. so this is the forest or the jungle. Eh? Mm -hmm. So in the jungle, you, you will usually see trees that are really, really high up okay. or it's really stunted mm -hmm. uh, because the, the trees that are really high up, they usually compete for sunlight. They'll race to the top, see who can get more sunlight. Oh, uh -huh. okay. And then those trees which are stunted, they gave up. They adapt to the surrounding and uh, decided to, nah, not worth my time, so so, so they just, just stick to the floor. Yeah, mm. stick to the ground. Yeah, so okay. this is about competition for sunlight. All right. Next, we have finally is about nutrient. Nutrient is av uh, is readily available in in the ground or in the soil. Actually, in small amount. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, so plants actually usually plants will have to hunt for it, but with the help of Fertilizers. When humans provide fertilizers to these uh, plants, mm -hmm. the plants will actually grow better. Why? Because they do not hunt, they do not need to hunt for the f uh, fertilizers, right? Not for the nutrients. Right. So because all the nutrients are readily available in abundance, uh, so not only that, the nutrients, the fertilizers will help to alter the quality of the soil, ma uh, making it more uh, easier to retain water. So water, there will be more water trapped inside the soil for a longer period of time. So the plants can drink more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also the airflow underneath, uh, in the ground will be better. That's interesting facts there. Yes. Okay, Mr. So Kip, please proceed. Alright, mm -hmm. so it looks like I've gone through the four factors that affect plants, competition between plants. So now, mm -hmm. I would like all my students, my pupils, to list down the four factors that affect competition among their plants. Plants. Okay. For those who are at home, you can try that too. Yes, who wants to try first? Pupils online, raise up your hands please. Okay, we have Alisa. Okay, Alisa. Okay, Alisa, can you please show us your answer? Oh. Uh, I think it's written S P A C E, right? Mm -hmm. So S P A C E, space. Okay, thank you. Alisa? Wow, good job, Alisa. Perhaps how many um, marks or stars you want to give to Alisa for that answer? We will answer? give them three stars. Three stars. Okay, uh, good job, Alisa. Okay, okay next mm -hmm. we will... Uh, who wants to try next? Put up your hand. Raise up your hand, please. Oh, Zari. Okay. Yeah. 
thank you. The answer is water. Ah, yes. Good try, Zarik. Good try, water. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Who's next? Who wants Who to put? Uh, raise their hands. Raise your hands up, please. Okay. All right, Adam. Here we go. Thank you. The answer is sunlight. Sunlight. Very good. Looks like he's paying attention mm -hmm. during class. Good job. <laughs> okay. Last of all, uh, I think we only have Afik Anaki Akif. Okay, Akif. It's your turn now. Mr. Q, the answer is nutrient. Nutrient. Yes. Okay. Wow. Looks like um, all of them have answered the questions. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the answers. See whether they got it all correct. <gasps> Space, water, sunlight and nutrient. Wow, they got it perfect and on point. Yes. Mr. Q. So all of them deserve three stars. Three stars for each of you. All right, Mr. Q. I hope pupils at home, you got that right as well, okay? We'll be right back after this break, Mr. Q. And I'll see you on Did it TV KPM. KPM. Welcome back to Didi TV KPM and our slot today is Tahab Dua with our subject which is Science DLP Year 6. And today friends, uh, for this segment we've known that the competition has four and our topic is interaction among plants. So for this segment, it's plants compete for space and water. For that very reason, let's have Mr Q start off the segment. Okay. Thank you, Shafika. Sure. So, in this segment, we are going to have two activities. Mm -hmm. The first activity is going to be about competition for space, which is this experiment. Mm -hmm. And then we have competition for water. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for activity one, okay, this is for the first activity. You need small, uh, one small sized flower pot and one big size flower pot, as shown in this, uh, shown here. Okay, and then we have 15 uh, beans, mm -hmm. 15 green beans planted inside here and also 15 green beans planted inside here as well. Okay. And what we need to do daily is to sprinkle with water. Water, right. Yeah, so we sprinkle with water. Mm -hmm. Water is one of the four key for plants, right? Yes. Mr. Q? Yes, it is. And after that, we need to monitor the height of the plants for consecutive three weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the result after three weeks. So Shafika, right. what do you think the, is the difference between these two uh, plants from mm. pot A from pot B? The difference from what I can see, they're almost similar Mr Q, but oh. I'm guessing for the plant on the left side, it's going towards one side, for this is more scattered out. Is okay. that right, Mr. Q? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> Never mind. But if you, if I put it all together like mm -hmm. that, it is clearly shown that this is taller. Oh, it's the, taller. Yes. So the, so the plants in pot B, it's much, uh, is it A or B? Yeah, it's oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's B is much higher, taller okay. compared to the one in A. Ah. Uh, there's a reason for it. Okay. okay, but before that, mm -hmm. I would like to, my students. My students uh, has also done this experiment at home. So, do, uh, when we are as a science student, when they do experiment, they will definitely face difficulties. Right. Okay. So, I would like to ask um, Alisa. Okay. Alisa, are you there, Alisa? Can you tell us what are the difficulties that you face while doing this experiment? All right, Alisa. Mr. Q, I find it hard to conduct this experiment after two weeks because all my friends from after the small parts as hardly return after two weeks. Okay. Okay, what she is saying that she's saying that her plants wilt after two weeks. Wilt after two yeah. weeks. Mm. Okay, especially the ones in the smaller pot. Uh, there's a reason for it because 
there's huge competition between uh, all the plants because it is uh, they have to be in a small space. The space is not enough. So the, co the plants compete with each other and many of them, uh, many of it died uh, <gasps> or wilted, uh, we oh, should say. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right, so mm -hmm. after I've done this experiment, I've uh, also collected some data. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at this data uh, collected for okay. the first activity. Eh? Mm -hmm. So as you can see from the table shown in the slide, we have number of weeks and height of the plants. Okay, these are the two uh, components uh, that we are looking at. So mm -hmm. number of weeks is actually the manipulated variable. Mm -hmm. So manipulated variable means that uh, means that um, it can have different ranges. Yes. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It means that it is something that we can change. Ah. Uh, something we can change. Mm -hmm. We can change. We can change the number of weeks, which is uh, when we want to observe it. I we want see. to observe. Uh, on the first week or the second week or the third week mm -hmm. is our choice so this is called the manipulated variable means the person who does the experiment has the choice to do what uh, to conduct the experiment experiment as how he see fits all right Mr. okay mm -hmm. and then the height of the plant is uh, the responding variable mm -hmm. okay which is the result the result huh? mm -hmm. so uh, as you can see from this um, whiteboard here okay so this whiteboard is shown uh, uh, you have the space mm -hmm. and water okay so the first graph uh, the first bar chart is about competition of, uh, for space mm -hmm. for plants uh, within the plants okay so as you can see the weeks represent the manipulated variable right and the height of the plants represent the responding variables mm -hmm. okay so based on the data that I have collected it is shown that a uh, for plant uh, for the pot A, it's uh, written there five, right? Five, okay. Okay, so it means it's five cm tall on the first week, mm -hmm. and uh, during the second week it is ten centimeter tall, mm -hmm. and for the third week it is fifteen centimeter tall. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is for the plants from pot A, but it is not complete. I will need your help, Shafika. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I can see there isn't any bar for B. Yes, plant as B. You can, yes, as you can see, mm -hmm. there is uh, two colors on the bar chart, right? Now. You have right. the A, which is blue color, mm -hmm. and B, which is in red. Okay. Okay, could you please help me to fill in the blanks? Of course, Mr. Q. Let me okay. just go over there for a while. Okay, so that means. So, let me read to you. All right, mm -hmm. the, for the first, uh, for the first week, the height of the plant is. 7 cm. 7 cm. Um, ah, so I'll just put it right next to A. Yes, 7 cm. Very mm -hmm. good, Shafika. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next uh, mm -hmm. height, which is 15 cm on 15 the second week. 15 cm on the second week. Okay, ah. Mr. Q. You got okay. that? Okay. And last of all, we mm -hmm. have 25 cm for the third week. 25 cm for the third week. Ah. All right, Mr. Q. So from this uh, bar chart, mm -hmm. it is clearly shown that uh, we can see the height, uh, the growth of the plant. Right. Like it's, it's, uh, grows, uh, it, it grows slowly but gradually up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but some, for the blue one, for the blue pot, uh, for the blue pot, I mean for pot A, yeah. it grows slower compared to pot B, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so students, what can you conclude from this experiment? Let's have a volunteer, please. Can you raise your hands up? Okay, Alisa. Okay, Alisa. Conclusion is the pen complete, compete for space. Yes, she is right. The plants compete for space. space. That is why uh, there's a difference in the height. Mm. So the one with the more with more competition will definitely be shorter. So, Shafika, can you tell me which one has more competition, face more competition, pot A or pot B? I think pot A. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. So, pot A is the one with less space. Yes, definitely. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Now, let us move on to our next experiment. Shafika, All right. I need your help here. Sure. Okay, <laughs> I'll just go back there. Okay. Okay. So, the second one is about competition for Water. So mm -hmm. in this activity, mm -hmm. the, we will need two 
size of uh, two seam uh, two seam pots. Okay. okay. And then inside we have the garden soil, mm -hmm. and the difference is the number of plants. Ah. Okay. So initial the, uh, during the start of the experiment, I placed three uh, green bean seeds here, mm -hmm. and then I placed uh, ten green bean seeds in flower pot B. B. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, I water it re uh, regularly every day mm -hmm. okay, at, uh, during the same time. And after three weeks, what uh, we want actually we want to see the length of the roots mm. after three weeks. Okay. okay. So I actually I took it out and have a look at it, I measure it, and then I put it back. So every week I've, I'm doing the same thing, uh, Right. Now, Mister Q, let's do it here, shall yes. we? Can you pick one of the plants from pot B, and I'll pick one from pot A. Okay. Okay, let okay. us compare. All right, let us compare the mm -hmm. size of the, the roots. roots. Yes, after three weeks. Huh? Okay, pupils, let's take a look closely at these two plants. Let's see the difference here. Okay, ah. so this is from pot A, which have only two flowers, uh, two green bean seedlings, mm -hmm. and compared to the roots from pot, pot B. B, which ah. has 10 seedlings, right? Yes. So ah. look at the roots. Mm. So it's Shafika, mm. Mm -hmm. so can you tell which one has a longer root? Yours, of course, on uh, pot, a. pot A has yes. longer roots. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's the reason for it too. What's the reason, Mr. Ah, Q? Because they compete for water. Mm -hmm. The ones in pot B have to compete for water. And therefore, it is not able, they are not able to, um, not able to grow healthily. Ah. Uh, compared to the one in pot A, they do not need to compete for water because water is abundance for them. Mm -hmm. So it will grow healthy, healthily. Even the height as you see, uh, which one did you pick just now? I picked this one. Okay, mm -hmm. even the height as well is different. Right, you can see that's a big <laughs> difference as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's a big difference in the height as well. So it shows that plants compete for water. Water. Mm. Oh, so students, right. So as usual, my students also conducted this experiment at home mm -hmm. and they faced some difficulties. So let us hear from our students. Okay, so let's So who hear. wants to talk about it? Okay, Zarik Zakwan, could you share your, uh, your opinion of what, what, what problem do you face during this uh, such, uh, experiment? Mr. Q, I find it hard to conduct the experiment because I can control my time to water the plant. You can or you can't? Can't. Oh, can't. He can't mm. control the time. Why? Because as a student, uh, you have a lot of obligations. Right. <laughs> studying, of, right? Yes, of course. Mm. <laughs> so a lot of studying, then you have the religious studying, and then you have sports and all that. Right. So it's hard, for, uh, it's, it's hard for him to uh, be specific on the time he watered the plant every day. Mm -hmm. So because of that, mm -hmm. there is a... There will be some some days he will forgot. Uh, let's say if there's too much homework or too many homeworks at home mm -hmm. at school, or there's too much uh, games he wants to play or something like that, so he might forget about the experiment that he. All right. <laughs> let's hope Zarik has some help at home to help him water yeah. his plants as well. Okay. Okay, Mr. Q. So now let us look at mm, the data. Mm -hmm. So I've also collected data from. The second uh, for this ex uh, for this experiment about okay. competition for water. All right. So Shafika, you need me over there. Yes, I'll go exactly. straight over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. As you mm -hmm. can see, I've already um, plot out plot out the 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 findings for A, right. which is two cm for week number one, mm -hmm. five cm for week number two, mm -hmm. and also seven cm for week number three. So this is for pot A. Can you do it for pot B, Oskay? Okay. Mm, so All for right. pot for pot B, we have three cm for week one. Three cm for week one. Okay, got that. And mm -hmm. seven cm for week two. Seven for week two, and the last one uh, is ten cm for ten week three. Ten cm for week three. Okay. Uh, there you go. So there's a difference in the height as well, correct? Yes. Nan? Yes. So, can you tell which one faces more competition? Hmm, Mr. Q, observing from this, I think it's pot A again. Pot <gasps> A? No, I'm wrong. Pupils, help me out here. I think it's pot B. Pot B mm -mm. faces more competition. <gasps> Wait, hmm. 
I'm going to go right back to my first answer, pot A. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> yes. All right. So, Thank you. Mm, mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, you are correct. Okay. So, students, uh, Zarik, can you help me to conclude what, uh, what's our finding today? Yes. From this experiment, we can conclude that plants compete for, compete for water. Yes. Plants compete for water. water. That is correct. All mm. right. So that's about it for this segment where we focus on uh, competition among plants, which is also an interaction um, involving space and also water pupils. All right. We're going for a short break. But after this, we've got more activities to do and as well as experiments. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Delete TV KPM. Okay. TV KPM. All right, pupils, let's get back to class. But before that, Kachavika wants to ask you do you know what this is? This is actually green beans that we're using as part of our experiment for today's lesson with Mr. Q. Mr. Q, today our topic is Science DLP, and for this segment, we are testing out two out of the four competitions among plants, right? Yes, correct. Mm. So this is uh, today, for this segment, we are going to talk about the comp uh, we are going to do two activities. Okay. One is about competition for sunlight among plants, and also competition for nutrients among plants. Ah. Okay. Okay. So for the first, uh, for the first, the third activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. For third activity, what we need is a box, two boxes, and then we have actually two potted flower plants. pots. Yeah, okay. potted plants. Huh? Let's be the same size, okay? And then one of it will have 15, uh, 15 seedlings and the other one will have three seedlings. Mm -hmm. So after doing the experiment, conducting this experiment for three weeks and not to forget actually, we have to water the plant. Ah. But this one is a bit challenging. Why? Why? Because you cannot uh, lift up the box actually. Mm. So when we start this experiment, so what we're going to do, we're going to use this syringe so we have a bit of water here. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to oh. suck up the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then using a tube. Okay. And looking inside. Okay. And then you're going to push the water in. Oh, that's creative. <laughs> yes. For those of you who don't have tubes at home, perhaps you can use uh, Mr. Q, a straw maybe? Yes, a straw so ah. we'll do the trick. Okay. This is actually, I got, I got it from this balloon, the balloon stick, yeah? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's why it's long. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So after three weeks, this is the findings. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, what we find out is the ones in, this is pot, oops, sorry, this is pot A. Okay. Pot A has uh, the growth of it. Uh. See, the height of it is much taller. High. Yes, taller mm -hmm. compared to the ones in Pot B. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. And there's a reason for it too. Right. Okay, the reason is because the plants in Pot A, because this is a dark area, mm -hmm. so the plants will want to compete for sunlight. Mm -hmm. So they want to achieve sunlight. If not, they cannot make food. Because plants have to produce their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. So it is a race to so see who can reach to the top the fastest. I see. Uh, whereas for this, plot, plot B, they, they don't feel the need to compete because they are in their comfortable comfort zone. Set. Yes, comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know? okay. okay, so that is the reason why uh, this one, uh, the one that faces uh, fierce competition, grows taller. Mm, okay, all okay. right. So my students as well, they have, they have done this experiment, but they have also faced some difficulties. Oh. So let us hear from one of our students. Okay, who would like who to share? Mm, who would like to share? Okay, okay. Adam. Adam? Right, Adam. 
Mr. Q, my plan all wilted after two weeks. Ha, huh. his plans also wilted after two weeks. Oh, Why is it, Adam? That's so sad. I think the bot frames run light from entering, so the plan got me wilted. Oh, he's saying that the because it's a very dark box, mm -hmm. so if you place it for a long period of time, it actually um, the plants will actually die. I see. Mm, it's actually not easy. Actually, one actually as, as you can see, actually I have three seedlings mm -hmm. in the beginning, and now I only have two. Yes. Because one failed to failed to leave lah. There's a lot of competition going <laughs> on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that is the com uh, that is the difficulties when doing this experiment uh, about competition for sunlight. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Looking at our whiteboard here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. I have already done this experiment and I've collected some data. Mm -hmm. So looks, let, let's look at the data from the slide first. Okay, so number of weeks and height of the plant. Okay, the number of weeks shows that it is a manipulated variable, which means that you have the power to change. You have the power to change um, the time that you want to observe. The, for example, you want to observe this plant uh, from the first week, or the second week, or the third week. Mm -hmm. So you have the power to do that. So that is uh, what uh, the menu plated variable, what you can change. Okay. And the height of the plant is actually the result of this experiment. Uh, so as you can see, I've already plotted um, the uh, plotted the transferred the data from this table onto this bar chart okay. on the whiteboard. So Shafika, can you help yes, me with it? Of course. All right. So we are going to put the results for pot B. Yes, okay. because I've already done it for pot A where mm -hmm. in the first week, it's a 5 cm. All right. 5 and cm. Then, no, no, that's for pot that's Oh, for that's for a. pot A. 5 cm. Mm -hmm. And then for the second week, it is 15 cm tall. Okay. And the third week, it is 25 cm tall. Mm -hmm. So now I need your help for pot B. So oh, the right. first... For the first uh, week, it is 5 cm tall. 5 cm tall, the same as pot A. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have 10 cm tall. 10 cm tall. Okay. All right, Mr. Q. And then finally, we have 15 cm tall. 15 cm tall. There okay. you go. Okay. So from this uh, bar chart, uh, it is clearly shown that um, the ones in pot A, the plants in pot A, grew taller compared to the ones in pot B. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is? Africa? I think uh, because hmm, perhaps there are more seedlings in pot B compared to pot A. Mm. Or is it the other way around? It is the key? other way around. The other way so, around. So the pot A has more seedlings. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they have to compete for each other. They compete. They race to the top, see who gets the sunlight Faster. Oh, I see. Uh, the survival instinct. Oh, it's survival instinct as well as uh, encouragement. Yes. There are more seeds, so they go up faster. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, that's how I see it. All right, Mr. Okay. Q. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason mm -hmm. why it is taller, even though there's more seedlings. Okay. So students, can you conclude this experiment for us? Who wants to help? Okay, Adam. Thank you, Adam. From this experiment, we can conclude that plant compete for sunlight. Yes. Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm. So from here, we know that um, plants compete for sunlight. sunlight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move to the next experiment. Oh, okay, Mr. Q. Okay. The mm -hmm. next, uh, you can come over here now. All right. I'll just go right back. Okay. There. So this in this experiment, this is the fourth activity. Okay. So which which is about uh, competition for nutrient. Okay, and so in this activity, what do we need is a slightly different flower pot from before. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a it's a, some it's longer. Longer. Okay? Yes. So in this experiment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put fifteen green bean plant uh, green bean seeds in each um, pot. But the, the but the difference is we need to separate it five cm apart. Okay, we plant it five cm apart, and then after that. One of it, we are going to place the, this is called the fertilizer, fertilizer. or the nutrient. Okay. Okay, so we put fertilizer on it mm -hmm. and then mix it evenly. Okay, and then not to forget, we have to water the plant regularly mm -hmm. every day. 
to make sure that uh, this experiment works out properly. Yeah? Right. So this, so I've done this experiment. And what do you think? Pot A or pot B? Mm. Has uh, what? Do, what's your observation actually? I think from my observation, which is taller? This. Hmm. This one is taller. Yes, mm -hmm. as you can see, these plants here are more uh, are healthier mm -hmm. compared to the ones in this pot. Right. Okay. So pot B is much healthier than pot A. Okay. Okay. The reason why? Why do you think is is it so? Because I have added something special. What is it? Fertilizer. Yes, the mm. nutrients. So pot A doesn't. Uh, is it pot A? Pot B, pot B doesn't need to compete for nutrients. Mm -hmm. So they will just absorb everything. Because there's so many nutrients in yes. there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So but as for the ones in pot A, mm -hmm. they have to compete for it. Right. Okay. So Akif. Okay. Um, Akif Anaki. Could you please tell me what uh, what problems that you face uh, while doing this experiment, Akif? Mr. Q. I find it hard to conduct this experiment because some seed grow and some do not grow. Ah, oh, like I said, okay. some. Uh, so, like I said earlier from the previous experiment, mm -hmm. uh, some of it, uh, for example, this experiment, experiment, I placed three seedlings in it, but right. end up only two survived. Mm -hmm. So it is the same for all the other experiments because it is a living thing. We can't predict which will actually turn out. Well, which is yes. a which is the good seed or which is the bad seed? Bad seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we couldn't know. So, even though we planted fifteen uh, seed uh, seeds, mm -hmm. not not every one of them will grow and become a seedling or a plant. Yes, Mr. Kri, I totally agree because I did experiments like this before, and not all the seeds will grow. Yes, yes exactly. Just a few. Mm -hmm. mm. So all now right. I will need your oh, so, so wait before that. Let us look at the data first. Mm -hmm. So this is the data for activity four. Uh, I've already plotted it on the bar chart mm -hmm. as well as in the table. So I transferred the data from the table mm -hmm. to the bar chart. So Shafika, could right. you help me with this? As with usual. It? As usual. Let's right. plot the data for pot B. Yes, pot B. Okay. But before that, let me read out the the readings for right, pot Mr. A uh, that I've already uh, placed it. Okay, the first for the first week it is five cm tall. The second week it is 14 cm tall. And for the third week it is 23 cm tall, tall for pot A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now for pot B, okay. could you please help me with it? Alright, for pot B, the first week is 5 cm tall. Okay. For pot B second week, it's 20 cm tall. And then for pot B for the third week is 30 cm tall. 30 cm tall. Yes. Okay. So, Shafika, what do you think? Can you tell me which, uh, which pot face faces higher competition? Hmm, according to this bar chart, I think pot A faces the more, the, uh, more competition compared to pot B. Yes, because mm -hmm. it has to compete to uh, find nutrients in the soil. Right. Very good, Shafika. Thank you. Let's, uh, so now I need uh, one of our students mm -hmm. to conclude this experiment for us. Okay. So, Who Akif? would like to try? Akif? All right. Yes. Okay, there you go, Akif. Mr. Q, from this experiment, we can conclude that plant compete for nutrients. Yes, thank you, Akif. Yes, that is correct. Plant com plants compete for nutrients. nutrients. All right. Thank you, Akif, for that answer. And um, perhaps, Mr. Q, for this segment, you can give a bit of a summary of what we've learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. From this, uh, from this uh, segment, what we learn is plant competes for uh, sunlight and also plant competes for nutrients. Mm -hmm. So, plant co when plant competes for sunlight, they actually grow higher, taller. Right. But for nutrients, if they have to compete, they are actually smaller, shorter. I see, Mr. Q. All right. And also, you've emphasized that it is a must to water your plants every, every day, right, Mr. Q? Yes, yes, yes. Otherwise, your results won't turn out as, as you expected. Yes, because water is... Uh, actually, water is more 
it's more important than anything else. Yes, yes. that's uh, true. It's also important for us. And also, one more thing, as seeds don't always uh, aren't always good, there's always bad seeds, so you always have to try and try until your experiment works out, right, Mr. Yes, Kiel? yes, yes. There's always hiccups in during your experiment, so it's okay. It's not, not necessary we need to have the best result ever. Okay. But so even during failures also, you can know why, why did you fail? Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay to fail. All right, <laughs> there you have it, Mr. Q. Um, pupils at home, don't go anywhere. We have a lot more to come up right after this. Uh, so we'll be right back here on Didit TV KPM. TV KPM and you're back here with me Kat Shafika on Didik TV KPM and we're learning for slot tahap 2 with Mr Q for science DLP and right now I see two different flora in front of us here Mr Q I wonder what we're doing in this segment hmm. okay thank you Shafika mm -hmm. in this segment we are going to talk about symbiosis all right so symbiosis is actually the close relationship between two plant species, mm -hmm. and there are actually two types of uh, com uh, two types of interaction for right. symbiosis. The first one is called the commensalism, and the next one is called the parasitism. Mm -hmm. So let us look at what does commensalism means. Okay, so from the slide you can see that commensalism is actually um, commensalism is an interaction that benefits one organism but does not harm nor benefit the other. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean here is, uh, usually what, how I teach my student is, so one of them gets the benefit. So, thumbs up. Lah. So ah. one of them gets a benefit and the other one does not get any benefit, but it does, it is not being harmed as well. Okay. So this is commensalism. Mm -hmm. uh, so one gets a benefit and the other one does not get any benefit or being harmed as well. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are a few there are a few what do you call examples to it. For example, the bird nest fern. Okay, so this is a bird nest fern. Huh? Uh, this is the bird nest fern. Okay. And this is this it, for you. Uh -huh. What is this? Orchid, Mr. Q. Yes, correct. This mm -hmm. is an orchid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me explain for bird nest fern first. Okay. All right. So the bird nest bird nest ferns uh, usually uh, it, it is situated on top of a taller tree. Ah. Ah. So it likes uh, the higher places. Why? Because it can get support mm -hmm. and also sunlight. Because plants need sunlight to uh, grow, right? right? So to conduct photosynthesis. So uh, it stays on taller tree. But this plant doesn't affect or try to destroy the host plant because it does not have any stem or roots that penetrate into the, tr uh, the tree stem of the host tree. Uh, that means it just sits on the tree. Yes. Ah, so it just sits on top of it. So the benefit is for the this uh, bird nest fern. Mm -hmm. But the, the host, it doesn't get any benefit from the fern. The, uh, the fern. But it also doesn't, it is not being harmed as well. Mm -hmm. So it is called a commensalism interaction. All right. Okay. For the orchid, it's also the same as well. Mm -hmm. So the orchid is usually situated at the trunk of some of the trees. So why why does it why uh, does it get attached to this type of trees? It is because to get support and sunlight and also nutrient from the surrounding. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the good thing is it doesn't affect or harm the the other trees uh, or the, the host plant. Ah, uh, okay. So this is called the commensalism relation. Sheep. All right, Mr. Q. Okay. okay, then there is one more relationship which is called the parasitism. Okay, from the definition, parasitism is an interaction that benefits one organism and harms the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, uh, so in school I'll do this. Uh, this is for uh, one of the one of the organisms benefit from it. It is also called the parasite. And then the other one will be thumbs down. Mm -hmm. uh, thumbs down because it uh, it gets. 
uh, it's being harmed. Right. Okay. So, uh, in this interaction, the organism that gains the benefit is called a parasite, while the one is harmed is being called the host. Mm -hmm. And there are actually three examples that I would like to share with you today. Okay, Mr. So, Kim. the first one is called the Indian willow. So, the Indian willow is actually a plant that um, it grows, it attaches to itself to the branch of another tree. Okay, and its roots will penetrate through the body of the tree and suck out all the nutrients and water from it. Oh no! Uh, so in the long run, that branch will die. Mm. Mm. And uh, from the slide also, you will see another plant which is called the Rafflesia. The ra Do you know that Rafflesia is actually the biggest flower in the world? Oh yes, it uh, is. It's and so we have it in Malaysia as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay? mm -hmm. But this big flower cannot, is, is unable to undergo photosynthesis. So the only way for it to survive is to attach itself to a host plant. So when it attaches itself to a host plant, it will, it will, what do you call? It will absorb all the nutrients and water mm -hmm. fr uh, from the host plant. So eventually, the host plant will die and this um, Rafflesia flower will Grow. survive, will ah. bloom. Red in color, okay. huh. and actually, there's one more, uh, uh, one more what do you call it? example that uh, is something extra, which mm -hmm. is called the Australian Christmas tree. Uh -huh. This Australian Christmas tree, where, where do you think it's com it comes from? Australia, perhaps. Oh, <laughs> you're right. <Okay. laughs> so Australia, yes. And this tree is actually a parasite tree. Why? Because its roots will make connections with all the grass uh, around it. Uh, because uh, as you can see from the picture, mm -hmm. this tree is actually uh, surrounded by a lot of grass, right? Yes. So it will absorb this, uh, the roots underneath will absorb all the nutrients and water from all the grasses nearby. Mm -hmm. And finally, you see only this uh, Australian Christmas tree is blooming and the yes. others has no flowers on it. Yes, I uh, agree. Very, very dull for the surrounding uh, trees. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm. Mm -mm. Next, so I would like to students to do some bit, a bit of quiz. Okay. So since they already learned about this uh, commensalism and parasitism. So, students, uh, pupils, huh, I would like you to write down the answer for A. Who, can, who wants to try for A? Put up your hand. Okay, Aki Fanaki. For the first, uh, for this quiz, huh, what do you think is the answer for A? The answer is parasitism. Parasitism. So parasitism benefits one organism but harm the others. Very good. Can someone give me an, an example about uh, for parasitism? Put up your hand. Okay, Zarik Zakwan. The example is Rafflesia. Rafflesia. Very good. Thank you, Zarik. Okay, next we have B. Huh? So I want you to answer, what's the answer for B? Who, Who wants, wants to answer to it? Answer. Raise your hand. Okay. okay. Adam? My answer is commensalism. Okay, commensalism is correct because mm. it benefits one organism but uh, uh, but it doesn't harm or benefit the other organisms. Right. Mm -hmm. So can someone let me know what is the example for commensalism? Put up your hand. Okay. Mm, we have Alisa. Alisa, can you let us know? The answer is orchids. Orchid, yes. Let us check the answer now. Okay, looks like they have gotten all the answers correct. Wow, good job, pupils. So I think they deserve, mm -hmm. all of them deserve. Four stars. Four stars for today. All right. Congratulations. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so let me summarize uh, what we have learned today. Okay, Mr. So Kim. the first thing we learned about today is uh, interaction of among plants is about, uh, we have two interactions among plants. Eh, sorry, we, uh, we talk about symbiosis, right? Mm -hmm. So there's two interactions, uh, there are two forms of symbiosis, which is the commensalism mm -hmm. and the parasitism. So commensalism benefit one, but it doesn't benefit the other or harm the other organism. Right. Whereas parasitism, it will benefit only one of it because the others, the host plant will die. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So this is for interaction among plants. All right, and there you have it. Perhaps, uh, Mr. Q, as we end today's lesson, you could give an overall marks for our pupils online today. Mm, mm -hmm. I think they have done a great job, actually. So mm -hmm. I'll give them... I think they deserve at least at least uh, four stars to five stars. <gasps> five stars, I think. Five stars. Wow, Mr. Q has rounded it up to five stars. Congratulations, everyone. A little bit of a clap for yourself. All right, great. Um, perhaps for people on, uh, at home that are watching today, where can they get extra materials for, you know, for some revision to do at home? Ah, yes, mm. they can get it from Sumberku. They can get food from Sumbaku, yeah. Okay, as shown uh, on the link uh, on our screen right now, right, pupils? Okay, Mr. Q, I think we've reached the end of our lesson today. Thank you for being with us here in our studio for teaching us Science DLP Year 6. And also not to forget, teacher Zaharatul Azma from SK Taman Bunga Raya Satu Rawan Selangor for being our sign language interpreter. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's lesson. Until we meet again, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera, bye-bye. Wait, Shafika. What? Do you want to play another game? <gasps> Oh, yes, uh, I would love to. Okay, so this one, I would like you to arrange the letters. Okay, all right, let's go.